Hi everybody and welcome back to SciArt Shop Channel. Okay guys, today we're going to do another fake donut topper. Now let me just bring over the topper now to show you roughly what we're going to make. And here it is guys. Da, 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 da. Um, so we're going to make um, fake flowers with a fake um, leaf. And we're going to put cream on this as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But I just wanted to uh, sh show you uh, roughly what I was thinking. So the cream's going to go under this, all being well, under there. And then we're going to pop those on at a jaunt jaunty angle to make it look nice and beautiful. Okay, so um, let me just quickly recap, if you don't already know how I made these bits and pieces. Now, in real life, this would be fondant fondant icing so all you do is you would get your stamp like this is a, a leaf one you roll out your um polymer clay because that's what this is um but in real life it would be fondant icing and then you just basically stamp it down and then you push out your particular leaf okay and you do that with the flowers and that's it simple as that then you bake them to the manufacturer's instructions and then they'll be nice and hard hence this is what i've got here now okay so there you go so we're at that stage so that's all been done and dusted so i'm going to put those to one side and uh, without further ado let me show you how you do the piping now if you've watched my other tutorials you will know that you um, need to use some of this okay acrylic sealant white okay and what you do is basically pop this in a piping bag like so fill this up so you've got all your uh, acrylic sealant in your piping bag and like i've said before you once you've used this for um crafts you can't use it for food stuff so uh, you'll need to buy uh, a new piping bag and uh, nozzle especially for that and all you do is you just fold it around like so like you would do if you were piping in real life um and uh, pretend it's cream okay so without further ado let me show you how to do that okay so what i was thinking with this one i might just put three blobs on there and uh, then i will stick the flower on the top and with the leaf okay so let me try and do that so i'm just going to basically do this and Pull that up and see if I can pull that off. Yes, I can. And I'm going to put one there, like so. Don't worry if they're a bit high, because we're going to push it down in a moment. And another one there. So doesn't that look like real cream? But it's not. It's just silicon sealant. Okay. Let me just try and get that off. Don't worry. That's going to bend over slightly. Okay. So that's fine. So I'm happy with that. So the next thing we're going to do before they all collapse is I'm going to put my leaf in. So all I do is basically pop it in like so, like you would do if you're doing this with fondant icing. See what I'm doing there, guys? I'm just popping that in like so. And then I'm going to get my flower and just press that down slightly. Don't press it down too much because you don't want to ruin the design of your uh, fake cream okay so there's another one and there's another one so look they are we're done how quick and easy was that okay so now you just let it settle and um let it all set that's the word okay now you may notice on these let me get a little brush um there looks like some little bits of flour on there where I've tried to get it. I've used some corn flour to get it out of the the um, mould. That's right. You know, this thing. Okay, this little stampy thing. So what I'm going to do now is use some gloss varnish. Now, this is for polymer clay. And all I'm going to do is shake that up and paint on the varnish because it will get rid of all these little bits okay so all you do is you get your polymer clay varnish and you just dab it on slightly don't worry it looks a bit milky but that will all come off or will dry i should say clear and it will look shiny so don't press too hard otherwise you will mess mess up the uh the cream 
So you're probably saying you could, I could do this after it's all dry. And yes, you could. But I wanted to show you that I'm doing it now so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. But I would suggest doing it afterwards because obviously I am pushing slightly and like there, see, so I don't want that to collapse or anything. Now, if that was all set, that wouldn't happen. So it's probably easier if you do do this part after it's all dry. But I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, so that's why I'm doing it now. Like I say, it looks a bit milky at the moment, but it will dry clear and it will dry um, like a varnish. And it is specially for polymer clay, so it won't be sticky or anything like that once it's dried properly. I'm going to push that back up slightly. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. If it didn't, write in the comments below and I shall explain it all again. Okay, let me push that up. So there you go. So see, it's got rid of all those little dusty bits. Okay, so there you go. That was it. Short and sweet and fantastic. So, um, yeah, there you go, guys. I'm going to leave that like that now. And that's going to be the... Um, the finished article. So we've got our fake donut with cream and uh, fondant um, leaves and flowers on there. But in real life, this is um, air dry clay with silicon sealant and polymer clay. And we've got some polymer clay varnish on it as well to make it all lovely and sparkly. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's another quick tutorial on how to do this topper. This one's really quick. And uh, let me know how you get on. And uh, you could adapt it slightly by putting some um, glitter on there, edible glitter. Um, obviously, it would be normal glitter for us, craft glitter. But uh, in real life, you can get edible glitter. So you could actually put glitter on there if you wanted that effect. But, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Any questions, put in the comments below, and I'll answer those. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye for now.